Hey, what's happening, everyone? You know, Saturday was a sad day, but it was a day of celebration as well, as Morehouse College had a memorial service for their basketball coach, Grady Brewer. Coach Brewer passed away last weekend at the age of 63. On Friday night, I had an opportunity to catch up with Daryl Walker. He's the former Clark Atlanta coach. He's now at Little Rock there in Arkansas. He coached at CAU for a couple of years, and he really got a great opportunity to meet and go against Coach Brewer in some pretty epic battles. He talked about the loss of Coach Brewer. He was all about Morehouse. Assistant coach for, what, 13, 14 years, head coach for 20-some years, a player there. I mean, he was strictly Morehouse man through and through, man. And that's a, that's a tough loss for Morehouse. It's a tough loss for SIC basketball, to be honest about it. And these coaches can tell you better than anyone. Basketball is part of their job, but the biggest part of their job is the impact they have on turning boys into men. Coach Brewer coached a lot of guys because he's been in college way, way longer than I have. He, he has totally had their respect. You can tell that the guys that he that played for him, the guys that would come back and be around. So it, it was, it's just a tough loss. I mean, we can't control things. The man above is, controls everything. We know that. But this, this was a tough one because this is a, this is a good dude, a family man. And for him to be going at such a young age, man, it, it's just a shock to everybody. Coach Walker was in town for the memorial service and doing a little recruiting as well. He also had the opportunity to catch up with some of his former players. Guys that he recruited and the recruiting trail is a great bonding time for coaches. Uh, some time that was well spent on the road alongside Coach Brewer. We just talked. Uh, he was happy that I was in the league. He thought it was great for the league that I was part of the SIAC and HBCU. And we just formed a pretty nice relationship. Uh, and Coach Brewer and I talked about this a few times when we were on the road recruiting, sitting next to each other. You know, we're, at HBCU, we're more than basketball coaches. Uh, we're, we're getting guys prepared for life. And that's, a, that's the same thoughts to that Coach Brewer had, too. And we all love basketball, right? The sport leaves you with outcomes, a play, sometimes an entire game that we will never forget. Coach Walker talked about a game just like that, a triple overtime game between Morehouse and CAU. And even though Coach Walker was on the losing end of that <laughs> ball game, it's one that he remembers quite fondly and will never, ever forget. It, at 4 o'clock, 4.45, the line was all the way around the corner. People trying to get in uh, to Epps Arena, and it was just unbelievable. I was, I was driving up going, this is unbelievable. The atmosphere, the Morehouse people were there, the Clark people were there. Two, two ranked teams, as Grady said in his press conference, two ranked teams playing. And we were ranked and they were ranked. And uh, what a, it was just an instant classic. What could I say to my team after that loss? I just told them, hey, man, that's an unbelievable game. We played against a ranked team. We were a ranked team. Somebody had to lose. But I'm proud of you guys. That was unbelievable. It's one of the best games I've ever been part of as a coach. There's no amount of video, there's no amount of interviews. I could talk all day, but there's no way to summarize what Coach Grady Brewer meant, not only to Morehouse College, to the Atlanta community, and the HBCU universe as well. But I would like to leave you with this today. It's one of my favorite interviews with Coach Brewer. I happened to find out one day on Twitter, and I'm the most non-Twitter person that there is out there, but I did see that he had signed a pretty good player from his very own house, his youngest son, Xavier. And I was so happy. Coach Brewer and I talked about our children more than we did uh, basketball. That was always a topic of conversation. And when I found out he was going to have the opportunity and did, in fact, have the opportunity to coach his son, I was so excited for him. And it's probably the interview I will remember the most out of all the time that I spent with Coach Brewer, we'll leave you with this. Coach, I was looking on Twitter today and I saw this kid named Xavier Brewer committed to Morehouse. Can you, can you tell me about that recruit? Yeah, that's one homegrown uh, in the house. He uh, told me, Dad, I want to come to Morehouse. I've been recruiting him. I didn't give it to him. He's a 6'8 wing guy that can shoot the ball real well. So we're looking forward for him to be in him. He's the first one I'm in and I hope to continue to Stock up with young kids here at Morehouse.
All right, I know you're going to run them, and you're not going to take it easy on them, but you can tell me. I won't tell anybody else. How excited are you to coach your son? I'm very excited about coaching my son. They say it's the toughest thing to do, but I'm going to get through it with him because he's a good kid, and he's a good player. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. He'll be sorely missed and never forgotten. Prayers to the Brewer family and the Morehouse family as we remember a giant today, Coach Grady Brewer. Rest well, sir.